This is a short video on the leukodystrophies. Leukodystrophies are a group of disorders that cause degeneration of white matter in the brain, as the name implies. Now, a few facts about leukodystrophies before we begin. They show a diffuse white pattern on MRI, as you would expect if the white matter is being damaged. They usually present in children. They're associated with genes and proteins. So they're usually hereditary, congenital. They, uh, they, they present with children as developmental disabilities. And it's important to note that the subcortical U fibers, which are pieces of white matter that connect each gyri in the brain for gyral communication amongst each other, are typically well preserved. The, uco the leukodystrophies do not usually affect the subcortical U fibers. And finally, I should note that this is by no means an exhaustive list of leukodystrophies. This is just three of the common ones, both in the clinic and on exams. So let's begin the leukodystrophies with adrenoleukodystrophy. Adrenoleukodystrophy is also called X-linked ALD, XALD, or adrenomyeloneuropathy. This, as its name implies, has X-linked inheritance. It's caused by a deficiency in an ATP binding cassette transporter called ABCD1. That's the name of the protein. ABCD1 is worth associating with X-linked adrenoleukodystrophy. And because of this faulty transporter, we can diagnose ALD with elevated very long fatty acid chains. It's a paroxysomal disorder, as opposed to the other ones we're talking about, which are lysosomal storage diseases. So... And the, one, one of the differences between the names ALD and AMN, adrenoleukodystrophy and adrenomyeloneuropathy, is that they kind of describe uh, the, the different places where this disorder can occur. If demyelination occurs in the occipital lobe, it's referred to as ALD. If, it's, if it occurs in the brainstem or spinal cord, it's referred to as AMN. And in addition to affecting the central and peripheral nervous systems, ALD can also affect the adrenal cortex and the Leydig cells in the testes. Macrophages in an individual with ALD would be filled with long chain fatty acids since that's the molecule that we're unable to transport. And finally, there's a proposed treatment. It's a mixture of triglycerides called Lorenzo's oil. This proposed treatment is controversial and unproved. There's actually a movie made about this treatment for a patient with adrenoleukodystrophy. Next, we have metachromatic leukodystrophy. This one is autosomal recessive, MLD, autosomal recessive. The deficiency here is in the, is in the enzyme aryl sulfatase A. And because aryl sulfatase isn't working, the molecule sulfatide accumulates in the central nervous system and in some visceral body cells. Sulfatide is actually a fatty acid, and it's shown on the bottom there. Metachromatic leukodystrophy is a lysosomal storage disease, and it's under within that LSDs. It's in the subcategory of sphingolipidoses, and it's a it's a problem with sphingolipid metabolism. There's variable present, presentations for MLD, including ataxia and dementia, and the course of this disease usually starts after six months of age, and there are different forms. They break it down into late infantile, juvenile, and adult forms of the disease. Macrophages in a person with MLD will contain sulfatide, that molecule you'll see at the bottom, and sulfatide is a metachromatic material. This might help you remember the name metachromatic leukodystrophy when you see sulfatide or when you see the enzyme aryl sulfatase A. Lastly, we have Crabbe's disease. Crabbe's disease is also called globoid cell leukodystrophy, uh, and that's where the abbreviation GLD comes from. Crabbe's disease is also called galactosclerimide lipidosis. This one is also autosomal recessive. MLD and GLD are autosomal recessive, whereas ALD is X-linked. Crabbe's disease is due to a deficiency in galactocerebroside B galacto, gal, galactosidase, and uh, that's kind of a handful. Um, honestly, remembering the galactocerebroside uh, is, might be good enough to, to associate the enzyme with Crabbe's disease. This is another lysosomal storage disease, also in the category of sphingolipidoses, a problem with sphingolipid metabolism. Crabbe's disease presents as irritability, peripheral neuropathy, optic atrophy, 
and a kind of a posture disorder where a person is in not not in control of their upper extremities extends them it's called decerebrate posture and developmental delay this disease is unfortunately fatal before the age of two a couple of unique markings on histology for Courbet's disease you see multinucleated globoid cells this is worth looking up and knowing what they look like this is also where the other name globoid cell leukodystrophy comes from macrophages here as you might expect contain galactocerebricide, which is a molecule that the deficient enzyme is unable to transport. That's it for these three leukodystrophies. Dis. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for listening.